My mother, uh, they found it had a cancer. She was 60. And uh, that was before her was passing. She had cancer and then my sister called me and said, I, my, I was tested positive here in Bangalore. In so I said, no, I want to come there and take her to Chennai. Get a bit of opinion. So I took her to Chennai and uh, took her to Dr. Santa. And uh, at that time, uh, Dr. Santa said, uh, no, she is, uh, we don't have to operate now. The radiation is only servicing for her. Okay, then my mother said, I'll get it done in Bangalore, not in Sydney. So we came back. We stayed in Bangalore for the Arunavas and I. And uh, at that time, Arunavas didn't have cancer. So, so we, we stayed in Bangalore. And I used to take her to Chitwa Memorial, you know, regularly. At the time, it was start, just started. And uh, so they said, one year, one and a half years, that's all her span of life. Then, Meanwhile, I got national with this uh, State Department of the United States. They uh, they invited me to visit United States. They had an invitation for two months. Then uh, I told them that I can't leave my mother with serious leave. Okay, we'll keep it for next year. So that year all over. Next year again they asked me. And my mother survived. So I didn't know what to do. And they said that we can't carry on like this, this invitation. Then uh, I went to the doctor who was treating her. I asked him, what should I do with her? Then the doctor said, look, Vasudev, um, you should go. You don't know when and what happens in your mother's case. But she has survived two years. Maybe she'll survive. We don't know. But anyway, Nowadays, you can always come back if you want, if anything happens. But tell me, what is she interested in? I said, painting. She used to paint, draw, and Horatius did her with her mother's lips. I said, why don't you encourage that? Why don't you encourage that? So I told my mother, I'll get you some canvases, some colors, and everything. You better paint. So she started painting. And she was reading a lot of Kannada books. And both Arnavad and I, we went abroad. We went to London, UK, and USA. So every museum, we used to check postcards or catalogs. We used to send it by post. After two months, when we came back, she had done so many works. Influenced by Suzanne, sometime, somewhere, Van Gogh, somewhere, something, but on her own. And uh, then uh, after that, you know, she went on working. One day she said, I'm not going to paint him. And why? Because you are spending money on me. You know, you are a professional artist, you sell your work and your exhibitions. That's okay, but why should I go on painting and keeping it here? I said, you want to have an exhibition, I can organize it. So she said, yeah, true. So one of the halls in my sister's house upstairs, Converted it to a gallery <coughs> space, put the copper lights and everything, matting, then we had an exhibition. And I asked her, you want inauguration? You, call, you tell me who the person we get. Rani Vijaya Devi. Rani Vijaya Devi was sister of Maharaja of Mysore. And she and my, my, sis, my mother, they were classmates in the school in Mysore. So I asked her, Rani Vijaya Devi. She came. She inaugurated the exhibition and people wanted to buy some of the works and uh, you know, I had to price them and uh, Pradhawani and Ekandera wrote articles my mother's works and uh, it was for her a completely different world different when she went on painting she went on painting because she could sell, she would get some money, you know so for her it was a, that so it did not depend on your, her son Angela. She lived for 17 years. She survived Arnavas. She, she used to tell me, look, I am living and she is dead. What a thing it happened. So, she survived 17 years. She and what was given one year in one place? 
And so that's true. It's really, that's how. And uh, she used to really appreciate uh, my getting awards and scholarships and things like that. Very, very much. So she was like that. And she was, uh, anyway, and uh, we were also in Bangalore after that, came here, and I was here. So and they got married to a woman. And that would be another story. And uh, so, and then she saw our marriage and uh, she survived, I think, one, two years after that. And she passed away. My father didn't have any problem, but he passed away two months before my mother passed away. And uh, then she passed away. I think the question of just, you know, her uh, approaching death must have made him feel that, you know. So anyway, that's what happened.